Hey guys, Tommy Gonzalez with Tommy G Workshop and I'm going to give you a shop update today. Um, there's a few things I want to cover and we'll get started with the first one which is stickers. As most of you know I've gotten my X-Carve so I've got my Venerable sticker. I'm going to start a... actually I don't know if I'm going to start a sticker wall, a sticker cabinet. I'm not sure where I'm going to stick my stickers yet. Um, I keep going back and forth. wanted to make a cabinet for all my finishes and paints and I was going to put it on there and then I thought I would just make a frame with a sheet of wood and hang it here behind me next to the egg carve. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> um, but I got my Inventable sticker. I also have the Arduino stickers I'm going to stick on there. And some of you already know, I got my stickers in. So I have started sending those out to people. Uh, if you want to trade stickers, leave me a message down below. and uh, Or send me a email with your address and I'll mail you out one. <clears throat> Along with my stickers, I got a sticker from the sticker guy that he ships with all his orders. Um, along with that, I got a few stickers already. Uh, the very, very first one that I received was from Mike from Miter Mike's Woodshop. So that's cool. Thanks, Mike. I also got one from Sai at Sai's Corner. Um, Sai, I'm sorry, I haven't sent you out my shop sticker yet. Uh, I'll get it tomorrow. Uh, the only reason I'm not going to do it today is because I got to get ready for work in a little bit. So, um, sorry, Sai. Um, also, I got one from It's a Wood Thing. This is from Ronnie Sutton. <clears throat> Paul Myatt's workshop. Hopefully I pronounced your last name correct. Um, obviously that's from Paul Myatt. Merck's Custom Woodworks or Woodworking. That's from Mike Merck. Got that one from Steve French. <clears throat> Carmichael Workshop, and I'm sure all of you know that's from Steve Carmichael. And this one is very interesting. I got this one from Geoff. He lives England, I think. It's not a sticker. It's a leather patch, but that's what he uses for his quote unquote sticker. And that's barefoot, barefoot leather. I guess that's his shop name. But that, that is very cool. It's a leather patch. And he made these himself. He did not have these made, he made these himself. So that is a very, very nice job, Geoff. And he also sent me some of his mailing stickers. So very cool. Um, if you not have, if you have not subscribed to these people yet, which if you're subscribed to me, I don't know why you haven't subscribed to them yet. But if you haven't, I'll leave a link in the description below, so you guys have got to check out their channel. They've got a lot of good content and a lot of good videos. So check them out. Okay, so while making this video, uh, I also got some questions about my table saw. And uh, so I thought I'd go over my table saw. So it's Craftsman. Um, at the time, I was just thinking about getting into woodworking. I hadn't even made a project yet. 
I wanted something cheap that I thought might do well for me at the time. Uh, I didn't know exactly what kind of features I wanted, so um, I got this. Now, it's cast aluminum, so it's not cast iron, which I don't really like. The fence has a funky shape where you can't just buy an upgrade fence for it, so you're kind of stuck with fence that comes with it unless you want to take a tremendous amount of time to try and get the shape and build your own fence. Um, these wings, they do okay uh, if you set them right, but it, it gets kind of flimsy and wobbly and they do okay. Uh, the dust collection when I first got this came with a bag on the bottom and I have upgraded that to connect to my dust collector. But, I still get a lot of dust right in here, along the bottom, which on the, you can kind of see it right here. Along the bottom, I put some weather stripping in there, around the whole thing. But I get a lot of dust coming out of here, on the tilt and lift slot for the knobs. A bunch comes out there, and along the top, there's let's see if I can get it a big old gap that a bunch of dust comes out from up there. So, I was thinking about um, extending the box that I made for the dust collection up through to where it would cover everything off as much as possible, but I don't know if I want to spend that much time on it and if it would be worth it because. I've been strongly thinking about getting the Grizzly P715 hybrid table saw. Um, I haven't pulled the trigger on that yet, but I I'm getting close to thinking I just want to do that. I would love to get a saw stop, but that's just not going to be in the budget right now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get away with getting the Grizzly right this second either. Uh, it will be tight on the budget, so I'll have to discuss that with the wife. But, um, also I got a question about the miter slots. They had the tabs right here. I ground those off to where they don't interfere with the, uh, with the slot. And that just made it easier to make jigs and to make sleds. Now you can still, you can still make jigs and sleds you'd have to slip them into the slot instead of just being able to put them down on top of it and you'd have to tee out your your rail you'd have to to make it a tee rail and slip it in there and uh, get it to fit that way um, I chose to just grind off all my tabs made it a bunch easier okay so here's a couple of the sleds that I've made uh, of course Small crosscut sled. Um, side cross crosscut sled. I used this one. Um, so slips in here, but it's supposed to be at a 45. I use this a lot to cut my trimming, like for. My workstation and for my outfeed table, all the trimming. I usually cut on this thing. Anything with miter um, that I need to miter long ways this way. I also have this miter sled. I use to cut miters in the other direction if I need to cut a miter. I can get it this way where the wide piece and cut like for picture frames stuff like that that's what this one is for so I can just and this is what I was talking about where I could just 
set it right down on top instead of having to, if the tabs are still here, these rails, these are the rails I'm talking about, would have to be teed. The inside here would need a, a slot to pass by for the tabs. And then you would have to slide it in there like that, which makes it really difficult, trust me. I tried before I decided to grind down the, the tabs. But now I have the tabs ground down and I can just pop that down and there you go. And I uh, also made a zero clearance insert for it because the end, the, I don't even know where the old one is anymore in this, oh, here it is. The old one is okay, but when I was sawing small stuff, it would suck down into here. And it's got a bit of a gap on both sides, especially this left side. So, I made a zero clearance insert for that, and you can see you did quite a bit of work to try and get it to fit. I had to route out all the the slots for these, the tabs, so that I would fit down inside to where, let's see if we can get that, to where just this part is the depth of actual from the tab up to where it's flush with the tabletop. So, um, another problem I was having with this one is when I was running off to the edge it is this is actually sitting lower than the tabletop so I would get caught up right here where it goes back under the table and I was getting caught up and I'd actually have to lift it up the workpiece up a little bit and push it through so now with the insert that I made it's it's all nice and flush I have no problems pushing material through so yeah that's my cheap craftsman table saw um, I am going to upgrade it eventually, uh, just not sure when, I'm hoping soon, and most likely it's going to be with the Grizzly. Um, like I mentioned, I'd love to get the soft stop, but it's just not in my range right now. So, there it is. Okay, the other thing I want to discuss is how the workstation is coming along. Um, it's been taking me a while with work and everything, but it's getting there slowly but surely. Um, got all the trimming on, I've got some of the carvings carved out. But as soon as this thing is finished, I will put out the video of the whole build. I've got a mess up top. So, I mean, may end up getting this all this junk in the drawers before I even put the faces on, just to kind of clean up the work area. Um, also, I have committed myself, as soon as I'm done with this workbench, I'm going to start finishing up some of these projects like this cart that I've promised people I would post once I finished up, and I have not finished it yet. The flip top downdraft sanding station. Um, what else do I have to finish? Well, I've always got to finish this mess of a shop that I complained in my last video, I think it was my last video, that I still haven't cleaned up because I've been working and trying to get the bench done and yeah, um, I definitely want to do something with my router. Um, oh. My outfeed table, I still got to finish that and do the drawers and shelves in there. And I've also, also promised people that I would get the actual uh, pipe clamp Moxon style vise. This is the, the prototype, if you guys haven't seen that video. This is a prototype I did of a... Uh, Moxon vise using pipe clamps 
and I promised to get the actual build done with plans and everything. So I've got to get that going. But yeah, I am not going to start another project until this other stuff gets done. And that's with a couple of exceptions. There's a couple of fellow YouTube creators that I need to build a few small things for and send them out. Um, so I'll probably video them and not put that content out until after they've gotten the gift. Um, and also, uh, while I'm straightening up the shop, I'll probably end up having to build like a charging station and a couple of small things. So things that pertain to me cleaning up the shop while I'm doing that, I'll be putting out. But other than that, it's going to be finishing up a lot of things. And uh, I'll put out small videos of those. And I kind of take it back. There's going to be one other exception. <laughs> Uh, I just received a new spindle holder for the X-Carve and that is going to be for the DeWalt 661 upgrade. So we'll be putting that in instead of the stock spindle. So that video will be coming out very, very soon. So I think that's all I got for this week. Um, I apologize to you guys for not getting out videos regularly. Uh, my work schedule is hectic. Um, I work for a power plant, uh, shift work. So I'm rotating days and nights and it's four on, four off. And then on top of that, I also work for the fire department. So I'm kind of on call with them uh, side of my regular schedule and training and all that stuff plus I'm sure a lot of you already know I've got a family I've got a six-year-old son who's into swimming and sports and activities and plays and school and <laughs> so I stay pretty busy uh, I get out videos when I can um, again I apologize for not being uh, on a schedule but that's all I can do for now until my son gets a little older. I don't know. I'll probably still end up being busy with sports and stuff. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I'll probably try and see if I can kind of get some content build up and start putting it out re on a regular basis. Uh, kind of get ahead of schedule and make a bunch of videos, edit them. And have them saved up um, so I'm gonna try and do that uh, but it may take a, a while to get that kind of stuff together so anyways um, that's all I've got for this week and until next time <laughs>